So when you think of animations, what's the first thing that comes to mind? It's really tough to do. You probably need After Effects to do it. And where do I even start? In today's episode, I'll break down an animation that I did and show you guys how you can easily animate stuff in Final Cut Pro 10. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new tutorial like this one, you guys will be notified. What's going on? All right. Nothing, you know, <laughs> just a late night, but totally, totally worth it. Really? So just before we get started, a big shout out to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. As most of you know, I've been using a ton of their assets in my videos with their really affordable all access plan. And in today's video, you'll see why I continue to do so. I also love what they're currently doing with their restock initiative. If you're not familiar with it, basically, they're continuing to add more and more content from diverse creators that portray people and communities that are underrepresented in stock media. And this is a huge reason why I love working with them. So make sure to check out the campaign and also storyblocks.com for some amazing royalty-free assets to use in your next project. I'll leave links to both of those in the description down below. So a few months ago, I got to work with a talented visual artist named David. Wow, I'm learning a lot from you, David. <laughs> from just, me? Just watching the stuff that you just did there, I'm just like, wow, you can do this with that. And just amazing, amazing. We were working on a project for Storyblocks called Partnered. The episode is live, so make sure to go check it out. So I was tasked with helping David create an intro for his husband's podcast. So here's the final version of the intro that we worked on together. Hey ghouls, I'm your resident spooky smartass Sam Baxter. And I'm your resident spooky drag queen Pissy Miles. And I'm here with my brother. Brother, how dare you. So sorry, my heifer Pissy. <laughs> Much better. Thank you. We're here because we are the hosts of the spookiest podcast around. My, my spooky, spooky gay, gay family. family. We talk about horror movies, scary ghost stories, and we tell jokes about our spooky gay family. Trick or treat! You can listen wherever you get your podcasts. It'll be a scream! <laughs> so this part right here is what I created for the intro, and that's what I'll break down in today's episode. It was really super fun to do, and I'll definitely give you ideas on how you can animate things in Final Cut Pro 10, whether it's for an intro, outro, or just something to throw into one of your projects. I can't imagine doing this with someone who like didn't really watch scary yeah. movies or anything. <laughs> so I had to create something for the part where he says horror movies. So I found the stock footage of a blood red moon on Storyblocks, and I thought it looked dark and creepy, so I went with it as the base clip for this entire effect. In my head, I was thinking maybe having arms come out of the side and the words horror movies popping out right below it. I added in the earthquake effect to make it shake a little bit and also keyed out the background with the keyer tool so that anything I placed behind it will show up. I also found these scary glowing eyes just to add onto it right before the arms come out. I didn't really have to do anything to it except resize and move its placement. So next up are the arms. So these were made by David from a previous project that he had and I thought it was the perfect thing to add into what I was trying to do. So he sent me a bunch of different ones but I went with the Freddy Krueger and Michael. No specific reason, I just thought it fit better. So what I did was scale both of the arms down so that it was hidden behind the moon. So to make the arms come out, I keyframed everything under transform with the skimming bar placed where I wanted the effect to start. Then I moved over to where I wanted it to end and resized the arm where I wanted it to be. And I did all that using the transform tool. I also had to do this for both arms. Then I added on the earthquake effect to add a bit of that shaky look to it. So as you guys are seeing now, a lot of it is just adding more and more layers to the base clip that we added on first. You can also animate things easily with keyframing like what I did there. Next up is adding in text. So basically I did the exact same thing. Then I added in the dissolve transition effect at the beginning to have it fade in. I did the exact same thing again for the word movies, but I made it a little bit smaller. I also wanted the text to be partly underneath the moon, so I placed it right below that moon clip. 
And of course afterwards I added in the earthquake effect for that shakiness. I wanted it to look really gritty as well so I found a couple texture overlays on Storyblocks and I placed those on top. So this is how it looks without the overlays and this is how it looks with it added on. And to finish it off we had to add in the sound effects. So basically you can add on whatever sound you think fits with your project. I just added in what I thought sounded good with the animation and movement. So the first one was the sound of a knife being sharpened. I like the build up so I used it right before the arms popped out. Then I used the sound of a knife cutting through flesh and placed it right when the arms came out. The last one I used was the sound of a girl screaming just to add a little bit more suspense to it. And I found all these on Storyblocks as well. And the second thing I had to do was for the part where he says scary ghost stories. That part was a bit easier. I just found a clip of ghosts flying around the screen. So I used that plus the scary moving figure background. And all I had to do was play around with the opacity, add it in my text, and of course my favorite earthquake effect. We talk about horror movies, scary ghost stories, and we tell jokes about our spooky gay family. So the main thing to know here is that adding on multiple layers can really bring your animation to life. I felt that by just adding on textures and having the arms pop out, it really made a huge difference. So definitely play around with the movement, placements, and the overlays that you download and see what you can come up with. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Hopefully you guys were able to learn a couple things by watching this episode. Let me know if you guys want to see more breakdown videos like this one in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.